Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the present, the past and the future of robotics. The aim of the presentation is to introduce robotic systems from a historical perspective, from the origins of robotics, to the first robots created in the middle of the last century, the robots of the end of the century and the beginning of this century, as well as the robots of the future. The ultimate goal of the presentation is to provide a vision of where we come from where we are and where we are going to in robotics. Robots started out as simple semi-automatic machines such as those we found in clocks, music boxes and certain coordinated automatisms. However, since these are nothing more than simple automated machines, we will not properly consider them as robots. The term robot and also robotics was coined by the Czech novelist in the novel Rossum's Universal Robot and it means a slave in Czech. It appears in his novel in which human or machines with human aspect do the work that humans didn't want to do. Shortly after, in the movie Metropolis, we could find the first film with a robot with human aspect. And in 1950, Isaac Asimov postulated the three laws of robotics in the book I, Robot, which make robotics popular. Robots, as we know them, were created in the mid of the 20th century. In 1948, William Gray Walter built the both driven mobile robot that became known as the Bristol Turtles because of their appearance. In 1954, the first programmable industrial robot was created and patented by George Stebel, which establishes, established the foundations of the industrial robotics as we know nowadays. In 1956, uh, its creator, together with a businessman, founded the first robotic company, Unimation, that installed Unimate robots on assembly production lines on the General Motors company. Later, in the 80s, the company Unimation created the Puma robot, which was one of the most popular models of the time that included an inlaced wrist. It had three series, 200, 50, uh, 500 and 700, being the 500 series the most popular series due to their appropriate size for numerous industrial applications. At the end of the 20th century, robots became increasingly popular. In the industrial field, the number of companies manufacturing industrial robots began to grow, as is the case in Europe of ABB, Kuka and Stabli but also Japanese companies such as Fanuc, Kawasaki, and Kasawa, among others. We can also find a large number of applications for robotics outside the industrial field. For instance, autonomous mobile platforms such as Pioneer Robot, equipped with ultrasound sensors. Humanoid robots such as those created by Honda, such as the P2 model. Robotic toys such as Abo, robot created by the Sony, Co Sony company, are some of the most representative robots by the end of the century. At the beginning of the 21st century, we can find a large number of human robots that have populated robotics, starting with ASIMO, the Honda robot that amazed the world for its advanced capabilities and the fact that it was kept in secret for 20 years, because Honda didn't want to or didn't want the world to witness their progress and failures. IQ Robot is a robot with a height of only one meter, with the appearance of a robotic child created at the end of the first decade of the century. In Move Robot is the first 3D printable human-sized robot. It is an open source project that aims to promote the use of 3D printers and robotics. Also, at the beginning of the 21st century, we find robots such as Canadarm2, which is one of the longest robotic arms in the world used in the International Space Station, or Spirit and an Opportunity Robots, two explorer robots created by NASA for Mars exploration, or the UAV Predator, the first drone with autonomous flight capability, created in 2000. DARPA competition is one of the most advanced and demanding competitions, and it's promoted by the US Department of Defense. 
In its first edition, research groups from most pioneering universities, together with sponsoring companies, participated in the Grand Challenge, consisting of driving autonomously up to 140 kilometers. As you can see, the vehicles included a great amount of sensors such as camera, radars, leaders, GPS, among others. In the 21st century, we have seen how robots have become part of our daily life, being able to safely interact with them, as is the case of collaborative robots such as UR3 robot. We have also learned the principle of robotics with low-cost educational robots of all kinds, such as Viper robot or UM robot, mostly due to their popularization, popularization of low-cost electronic components based on Arduino. We have also allowed clean robots to clean our homes and perform household chores that we don't like. Assistive robots take care of, our, of us, providing us with the required attention and care, particularly to elderly people. Exoskeletons and robotics prosthetics have allowed us to recover lost functionalities of our extremities as a consequence of a trauma or even brain damage. This leads us to think about which is the future of robotics. The truth is that no one knows, but without any doubt, robots that I include here are not the future, are today's robots, and will be among the most advanced robotics applications of the future. Sophie Robot has been the first robot in the world to obtain a nationality. His or her artificial intelligence is very advanced and she is learning how to interact with humans under her humble robotic condition. Perhaps the future of robotics is the combination of robotics and humans, also known as cyborgs. This is something that, as society, we are already prepared for, but not without some controversy. The use of technology to improve us as humans is undoubtedly one of the directions in which robotics will advance in the future. Also, the creation of robots that are completely different from the ones we know. For instance, soft robotics. In, they seek to create fully flexible robots with soft actuators that can interact with the world without damaging it. And finally, nanorobots are nanoscale robots that are used in medical applications as a cure to some diseases. It is a field under development with also some controversy. In this presentation, I have reviewed with a, from a historical perspective the present, the past, and the future of robotics. Thank you very much.